Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round to two decimal places, which is rounding to the hundredths place. Now, rounding shows up all throughout math, and really, life as well. So being able to round is important, no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Rounding helps us make numbers simpler and easier to work with. Let's jump into number one, where we have a fairly long decimal. We need to round to two decimal places. In other words, we are going to cut this decimal off after two decimal places, the hundredths place. We do this by taking a look at the digit in the hundredths place, or whatever other place we want to round to, and then take a look at the digit to the right. That digit to the right tells us if we keep the digit the same or if we round up. Four or less, keep the digit the same. Five or more, round up. I'm going to start by underlining the digit in the hundredths place, which is two spots to the right of the decimal. We have a three in the hundredths place. Take a look to the right in the thousandths place. We have a five. Basically, we are seeing if this is closer to 93 hundredths or 94 hundredths. That digit to the right tells us this. We have a five. Five is five or more, so we round up. This decimal rounds to 94 hundredths. So our original decimal is approximately or rounds to 94 hundredths. We can think of this as cutting the decimal off after two decimal places. So after the hundredths place. And we do this by rounding. Now this is the approximate sign. We use this because 94 hundredths is a rounded decimal. It's not exactly equal to our original decimal. So we use that approximate sign to show that we have an approximate rounded decimal. Let's move on to number two where we have 32 and then some decimal digits. There's a seven in the hundredths with a two to the right in the thousandths. Two is four or less, so we stay the same. This decimal rounds to 32 and 7 hundredths. Let's move on to number three, where we have five and then a repeating three. We have a repeating decimal. Those threes go on forever, but we round the same way. There's a three in the hundredths. Look to the right, and we have a three in the thousandths. Three is four or less, so this decimal rounds to five and 33 hundredths. Let's move on to number four, where we have 76 and then some decimal digits. There's a nine in the hundredths with a six to the right in the thousandths. Six is five or more, so we round up. Now we are rounding up a nine. When we round up a nine, we get 10. So what we can do, we can put a zero in the place we are rounding and then regroup the one from the 10 to the next place to the left. So we have one and then another one. That gives us two in the hundredths. Bring our decimal down, a six in the ones, and then a seven in the tens. So this decimal rounds to 76 and 20 hundredths. Now that's equivalent to 76 and two tenths, but I'm going to include that zero in the hundredths place to show that we rounded to the hundredths place. I do want to mention that there are different ways to think through rounding up a nine. I dropped the link to my video about rounding up nines down in the description if you need more examples. So there you have it. There's how you round to two decimal places, the hundredths place. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Peace.